Remember this, back in January of 2015, Ohio State fans hit the streets to celebrate the football team's national championship. Police were forced to use tear gas and pepper spray to get people out of the street. And tonight, officers are already preparing to handle any crowd control situations that might arise after Saturday's game. NBC 4's Ted Hart is live on High Street with more on a new tool police have this year to help with communication. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, it was two seasons ago that the uh, Buckeyes beat Oregon for the national championship, and shortly thereafter, hundreds of students poured out of the bars and onto High Street here, and it did quickly get out of control. And with so much now riding on this year's final regular season game, police say they will be prepared. This was January 12th, 2015. Police used tear gas and pepper spray to break up the crowds after first making this announcement. Emergency may be deployed. But students and some members of the media complained that they did not hear or did not fully understand what police were saying. That won't be a problem the next time something like that happens. Using a Homeland Security grant, Columbus police purchased a long-range acoustic device that allows them to broadcast a message much clearer and much louder. Crowd control devices and chemical agents may be deployed. This allows us to ensure that they can't say if we do make an arrest, they can't say I didn't know what you wanted me to do because we'll have on videotape very clear announcements being given with what they were supposed to do. The new equipment can also encourage people to disperse by broadcasting an ear splitting tone. Yeah, a lot of people think this is some space age device where you're going to uh, curl up and uh, start bleeding from um, your, ears. your uh, ears and eyes and all that, but it's not. It's just a, what I would refer to as a, an annoying rhythmic or pulsating type tone. And police expect to use this new acoustic device in any number of situations, including barricaded suspects and perhaps if they need to communicate with the residents during a natural uh, disaster type situation. For now, we're live on High Street, Ted Hart, NBC4. Ted, thanks so much.